If you've never meditated before, this is how you do it. Close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. You make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. You're going to watch the breath as it comes in, you're going to watch it as it goes out. So you can compose your mind right here. Any thoughts that go wandering off, you just let them wander, but you don't have to follow them. You stay right here with the breath. You don't have to figure out what the thought's about or whether it's a good or bad thought, just let it go, let it go. You're going to stay right here and get the mind to come together, get your awareness to come together right here. This is an important way to begin the day. It's an important way to begin any enterprise. You compose your mind first, get things really quiet inside, and then you start thinking about what your plans are for your enterprise, what you want to have out of this. Make up your mind, okay, this is something that's really good. One of the reasons why we take the precepts first is that you want to remind yourself that whatever you do, you don't want to harm anyone. You don't want to kill, steal, lie, have illicit sex. You don't want to get intoxicated, because those things will destroy any enterprise you have going. So you get the mind in good shape first, and set your mind on what you really want, what your real priorities, what your real aims are in life, what your aspirations are. It's good to get in touch with that on a regular basis. Because it's all too easy in the course of daily life to forget what's really important in life. What's really important in life, of course, is the well-being of the mind, the well-being of the heart. That's something you want to work on. We work on it through being generous, and being virtuous, and learning how to compose the mind in concentration so you can see clearly if anything is going to come up in your heart or mind that's going to cause trouble, you learn how not to identify with it. Greed comes up, you realize that's not going to take you to a good place, you let it go. Anger comes up. That's not going to take you to a good place. You let, learn how to let that go. Of course, things, these things have their appeal, which is why it's good to have them a good solid state of concentration in the mind, so the mind can settle down and have a sense of well-being right here. So as you're focusing on the breath, notice how the breath feels. Is it comfortable? If it's not, you can change. If it feels too long or too short, you can adjust it. Too heavy or too light, you can adjust that too. Get so it feels just right being here. Years back when I was in Thailand, my father came to visit, and we arranged for him to study meditation with my teacher. And his first question was, well, he said he, said he was Christian, and was there going to be any obstacle in doing the meditation? And as my teacher said, no, we're going to focus on the breath. The breath is common property for all human beings all over the world. It doesn't belong to any one group. So it's a good place for you to compose your mind, regardless of your background. It's your anchor right here in the present moment, and it's one of your ways of developing a sense of well-being in the present moment. When you have that sense of well-being, then whatever you do or say or think is coming out of well-being, not out of fear, not out of weakness, not out of a sense of being frazzled or challenged in a way that's overwhelming. You come with a sense of confidence. And when people act with a sense of confidence and composure like this, the things they do, the things they say, the things they think come out a lot better and have a much better impact on themselves and on the world around them. So you want to make a, this a daily process. Just take some time out and get in touch with your breath, adjust the breath so it feels good, and then stay with that comfortable breathing as much as you can throughout the day. Remember, the breath is not just air coming in and out of the lungs. It's the whole flow of energy in the body that brings the air in, allows it to go out. But it doesn't just do that. It goes through your whole nervous system. So think about a sense of well-being suffusing through the nervous system as you breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. This is a good foundation for whatever enterprise you want to undertake, whatever plans you have, whatever aspirations you have in life. It should start with a good sense of solid and composed mind, and this is how you do it. So take some time now to get your mind composed with the breath, and let everything else go.